I thought ready? it yep. was all over. Welcome back to the Six Feet Apart podcast. And today we're going to talk to people about confidence. Why are men confident in themselves? What makes them confident? Do you think that you're a confident person? Depends what we're talking about. Growing up as a kid, you know what I'm saying, like, I was shy, but then I realized, like, shy don't get me nowhere. What makes women confident? Oh, like, if I have makeup on, I'm pretty confident. But when I don't have my makeup on, I'm not confident. But I just turned 50. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations. A couple of days ago, yeah. 50 years I'm young. 50. Woo! Yeah! Woo! I wouldn't have said a day over 28. It doesn't matter. That With age comes confidence as well, for sure. What makes people in general confident? It's not like I'm a confident person or underconfident, un underconfident person. It keeps fluctuating, yeah. It's a, it's a spectrum. I mean, personally speaking, when I put my mind to something, and I know in my mind, in my heart, that I can do it, it just happens. It's not like somebody taught me or handed down this information. It's the power within myself that I pull out. So we're gonna see if people have confidence in themselves. I mean, I'm out here in the middle of downtown with a fold-up table and a ghetto podcast set up that a sign that my girlfriend made, and we're doing it. That's confidence. Hi, sir, would you like to be on my podcast? You want to be on the podcast? No, 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 no. He's not interested in being on the podcast. That's unfortunate. Anton brought somebody I was introduced to. You want to have a seat? Hell yeah. All right, what's your name? My name is Kabir. Do you think that you're a confident person? Depends what we're talking about. Okay, what determines your confidence? If I believe I can do something, I mean... If I've done it before, I'm confident in doing it. Okay, but like, how are you gonna do something if you've never done it before? That's the thing. I think the first time you do something, that's <laughs> that, that's where like the real balls come in. You know, like you build it up from scratch. Any new feeling, I'll build it from scratch. That makes sense. Do you personally feel that like every time you do something for the first time, you're not really confident in yourself? Yeah, I think so. I think that's me. I think I need to get my feet wet a little bit in order to like build the confidence and like get myself moving. All right, what's the latest example of you getting your feet wet in something? Actually, actually, I'm starting my own business, oh, which I've shit. never done before. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> What's the business about? It's like a tech company that I'm starting, yeah. I think about these guys both on it. <laughs> <laughs> what prompted you to start your own business? Well, I want to lead my own life. I think freedom, financial freedom, is a very important thing. I want to do that for myself and other people. So that's, that's the whole energy behind why we did it. Okay, now what... What gives you the confidence to be like, I want to start a business, and I'm going to do it? What's going on here? <laughs> Not a lot of people know this. I have an allergy to cigarettes. Really? So when people smoke next to me, if I get like a few whiffs of it, yeah. I get a headache. If I inhale enough, I get these hives in my lungs, and they swell up, and I'll die of suffocation. I appreciate Anton here, my camera guy. He knows. Him calling those people out. I appreciate you. Thank you. What? gave you the confidence to be like, I want to start my own business, I want to have financial freedom. Where did that power come from inside you? I think the want is so strong that it defeats the lack of confidence, if that makes sense. I had no confidence in doing it, but because I want it so bad, I pushed past that fear. Whereas if I don't want something as bad, I may not push past that fear, if that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Was there something that you watched or you saw or something that inspired you that was like, I want to start my own business instead of working for somebody else? I've worked in corporate for years. Okay. And if you work in corporate, you know it's just a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> and I don't want bullshit in my life. It's that simple. I, I watch all the slow decision making and bureaucracy, and I just I can't be a part of it. I want to be able to create things on my own terms and help people on my own terms. I love that. If you were to give somebody else advice that needed some confidence, what's something that you would tell them so that they could do it? Advice I would give them. I would ask them deep, deep down, deep in the heart, do they really want that thing that they're trying to do? If that's the case, build the confidence. That's a good question. I don't know how to answer that. Just, oh, one trick actually my friend gave me. He said, just count down from three, and on three, just do the thing. Doesn't Steve-O do that? Does Steve-O do that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Steve-O. <laughs> Whoever my friend is listening to a lot of Steve-O, but yeah. <laughs> I think that's a smart way to live life. Like, just do it. Nike. You know what I mean? You, you. <laughs> Funny, the guy who gave me advice works in Nike. Okay. So, <laughs> so he's like fully in developed in the brand. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people kind of fall in the same trap that you have, where they're like, I need to get my feet wet, but they don't understand yeah. that 
doing it is going to get you wet regardless, whether it's your feet, your hands, your head, your, t your stomach, your body. Who gives a shit? You're going to get wet. You're going to get dirty. It's going to be fun, and that's yeah. life. Life is yeah. like excitement and suffering at the same time. There's nothing to be afraid of. Take baby steps. Baby steps into the crazy. I like to take leaps. I'm a, I'm a leaper. <laughs> we were talking, and I heard you're doing a lot of stuff. Yo, shout out to the Six Feet Apart podcast. Follow it on Instagram. Actually, where can people find you? Oh, go to info.soco.market. That's my company's website. Make sure you check them out. I mean, this guy's running it, so it's got to be good. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> One in the bag. I saw, I was noticing so many people like stopping by and taking stories. It's so funny. You can just set something up and it becomes a thing. I'm not special. This sign was made by my girlfriend in like 15 minutes. I just asked her. That was it. Honestly, I have a sticky note in my house that uh, is just like this doodle of two people and this table and the sign. And I was like, I want to do this. And I showed her the sign and I was like, can you make this for me? She's like, no problem, done. And then I set up and now we're here. Who should we ask next? Should we get like a guy or a girl? What do you think? The only thing is you gotta put out your cigarette. I appreciate that. My name's Savan, have a seat, man. What's your name? Uh, Roshab. One more time? Uh, Roshab. Roshab. You can call me Rosh, that's okay. Rosh. I play a game called Dota 2, and it has a creature in it called Rosh. So I'm gonna call you Rosh, that's okay, awesome. Perfect. <laughs> this is the Six Feet Apart podcast. Okay. I like to ask people on the street hard questions okay. because I think the best way to learn stuff about life is to have a conversation. Now, it's called the Six Feet Apart podcast because I think that you can't be six feet apart to have a real conversation. So it's a play on words. Okay. We have to be next to each other to That's talk. Interesting. How confident are you in yourself? It depends. Like, it's very seasonal for me. Seasonal? Yeah. Like, it depends on what phase I am in my life. Parts of it, sometimes I'm, like, extremely confident. And parts of it, I'm like very overwhelmed with everything what's happening around me. So not very confident. It's not Interesting. Like it's not like I'm a confident person or underconfident un under confident person. It keeps fluctuating. Yeah. It's a, sp it's a spectrum. Yeah. I think it's interesting that you even analyze that yourself. What makes it a confident season and what makes it a not confident season? Have you been able to like kind of analyze what are the factors that change that for you? So actually I, I, I have analyzed this because I'm a writer director. Amazing. And uh, this is one of the things I feel all the writers out there should do it because like I highly believe in plagiarizing my own life. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Plagiarize your whole life? Like you said, it's very important to have conversation to get to know life better, right? Yeah. In the same way I feel if you're a creator, irrespective of whether what platform that is, whether it's games or drama or it's a documentary or even as a matter of fact this you're supposed to write you're supposed to create what you know right i take bits and parts of my life plagiarize them for my films because it works for me everyone has their own method and own treatment that makes a lot of sense you have to draw inspiration from somewhere the easiest right. place to do that is from your own personal experiences and don't you think i'm just five feet six inch tall but i think if i look within there's like thousands of feet of data, resources, knowledge, which I've absorbed for myself in the last 25 years. Yeah. So if I were to open that one big Bible of human emotions, like, I think it's me, myself, right? From, at least for my, my body of work. A hundred percent. Would you say that you're in a confident phase right now or a not confident phase? I mean, you sat down on the podcast Oh. and I saw the hesitation. <laughs> what made you hesitate? Uh, I don't know, maybe, ah, that's a tough one. Hmm. We ask hard questions. <laughs> I think I hesitated because uh, I'm an international student. I've just come here like a few months ago, like a, almost a year now. A few, almost a year. Yeah. Your English is fantastic, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was the school education back in India, but... They did a good job. <laughs> Can you just fathom this for a second? You and I are able to have a conversation. You had the confidence in you to see another human being in a foreign place and sit down and share that Bible of knowledge inside of you. That's amazing. Yeah, it I is amazing. It. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. To be honest, it's like a it's like a big step for me. A lot of times I do want to have the conversation with uh, anyone, whether it's a friend or a stranger. I feel even the ones who are, who are confident, even they do have this, right? Like a bit of hesitation. It's all about how easily and how quickly you can break that hesitation and go into what you're doing. Even though I was a bit hesitant, I would say that maybe this is a confident phase because I managed to break it and do come here. And I totally see the worth in this conversation, so I'm proud with my decision. It's fate. It's destiny. Do you believe in destiny and fate? Partially. 
Does that help you drive your confidence? Is there some sort of religious faith that you have? Is there a power outside of you that draws your confidence and gives you the strength that you don't have? And if you were to say yourself? Hmm. So I'm not very religious. Like my, my family back in India, they are. But I would say that faith which drive me forward would be the faith in being better every day. I don't know what that faith is, whether, whether it's it's a religion thing or a faith in universe or what that is. But I would say my incline of faith would be more towards how can I be better tomorrow. Being better tomorrow is definitely faith, but how is what I'm trying to figure out every day. I don't know if that makes sense. That makes a lot, I mean, that makes a lot of sense to me. So I'm going to try to unpack what you said there. The confidence comes from you in the fact that you understand that you are a person that's growing every day and that there will be some sort of growth. You don't know how, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the how, and that's what drives your confidence and growth. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's about right. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> you are able to articulate yourself very well. Oh, thank you so much. I hope that this helps you have the confidence going forward to have any conversation you want in your life. Definitely. You said you're a filmmaker. Yeah, that's right. What kind of films do you make? Mostly I deal with drama. Drama, okay. Uh, lately I have been, so I recently made a horror shot for this production back in India and some people said that oh I've done a great job so maybe I would I would experiment a little more in horror and thriller and psychological thriller but that's not who I am if I were to say the artist in me that would be someone who writes poetry and creates drama genre films when was the last time that you lost confidence in your work or what you do Ooh, that's a tough question you're an artist I, I'm an artist too so I get it <laughs> I think every draft <laughs> a true artist. I think every draft, this one person inside would be like, oh fuck, this is shit. Oh, I'm sorry, I can... You can swear all you want, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh fuck, this is shit. And then you need 15 minutes to... Like, am I a writer? Okay, am I a creator? Imposter syndrome. Yeah. But then eventually you showcase, like if you show and make people read that draft, people who you know that would be blunt and give you a slap on the face feedback, right? And then you try to cope up with that, oh, okay, I have written this. Okay, let's see how we can work around this. I think that, that doubt is always there. Roche, thank you so much for your time. Where can we find you in your films? Hmm. What's the best way to find you online? You can look up my work at Instagram. at Sangvi Roshab. Shout out to Sangvi Roshab on Instagram. Perfect. <laughs> yep, thank you so much. Thank you, man. I appreciate your time. Take care, man. Oh, oh we're yeah, going to yeah, do... Okay. Cool. One of these. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Nice. Roche. Let's get Aegis, baby. Okay, let's get Aegis. <laughs> <laughs> Two already done. Try to get some more. I want that guy. Oh, okay. You gonna go get him? Hey! We got hustlers out here. We got hustlers out here. We got hustlers. Yo, people are working for me already. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't pay that guy. We got. We got boy. Over here. She's capturing everything. Capturing the moment. Capturing it all, bro. <laughs> nice. Oh. Yo, he went for it, though. Yeah, he, tried. he went for it. That's confidence. Yo, this guy said he likes to get his feet wet. Bullshit. That guy, that's a confident man. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, someone's getting in a trunk right now. Downtown Toronto, baby. Would you like to be on a podcast? The Six Feet Apart podcast. It's my podcast. Have a seat. Okay. All right. What's your name? I'm Nina. Nina? Yeah. Would you say that you're a confident person? Yeah, somewhat. Like, depending on the situation. Okay, so what's the depending factor? Like, what makes you confident? What makes you not confident? Oh, like, if I have makeup on, I'm pretty confident. But when I don't have my makeup on, I'm not confident. Do you feel like you're confident right now? Yeah. I think I'm pretty confident right now. Yeah, you had a seat. Is it just your makeup that drives your confidence? Um, also like people around me, I think. Like if there's a more confident person than me, then like I'm a bit less confident because they kind of overshadow me, kind of. Interesting. Are you talking about like confidence or extroversion? Like if someone's leading the room, you're going to take a step back? Oh, or is yeah. it literally like you you feel less confident in your abilities? You're like, that person is better than me. I think it's like if I'm not like that extrovert, then I'm not like that confident, if, if, if that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's one piece of advice you would give to someone that is feeling like unconfident today and they need confidence tomorrow? What's something you can tell them to do? 
Okay. I, I feel like just not give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Put on some makeup yeah. and stop giving a fuck. Yeah, just be you, you know, Hell just yeah. be yourself. And yeah, just be yourself. What does being yourself look like to you? Literally nobody like really pay attention to you. I feel like like I feel like sometimes you like put yourself in the spotlight. Like yeah. you think everyone's observing you and stuff, but I feel like everyone's so busy and they don't really care about you. So you should just like live your life and like be out there. And totally. Just take off your clothes and run down the street. Like who cares? Yeah, who cares? Like <laughs> it's 2022, you know? <laughs> Last question. What gave you the confidence to sit down here today? You don't know me. You don't know the situation. What yeah. what gave you the confidence to have a seat and have a conversation? I don't know. Just for the vibes, you know. Like we're in downtown right now, and why not? Like why not? Why not? Live your life. Why not? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Where can people find you, Nina? Uh, where can uh like in Mississauga? I live in Mississauga. <laughs> Shout out to Nina in Mississauga. Yeah. Thank you so much, no Nina. Worries. I live in the most beautiful fucking city on the planet. Damn right. So beautiful people are taking pictures out here. What else do you do out here? But capture the moment. <laughs> I'm rolling. Oh, are you on the phone right now? I am. Oh my God. What's my your home, name? My homegirl, I'm Josh. Josh, and who's on the phone with you? My, my homegirl, KB. KB, shout KB. out to KB. One of my close friends from time. <laughs> and you know, we're just chilling, kicking it. You know what I mean? Would you say that you're a confident person? Yeah, you know, I'm very confident, uh, but at the same time, you know, the pandemic has kind of pushed me in a state where it's not feeling the same when I go out. I'm a little more upset with people. I can't deal with the crowds, but overall, of course I'm confident. You have to be. What makes you confident in yourself? You're just being yourself, right? Technically what I do is just think about the stuff that makes me happy. I'm listening to my music on the train. I'm bobbing my head because I like the songs. I like the vibes. And that just keeps me confident because, yeah, people are looking at me weird, but I don't care. I'm just listening to my song, minding my business. And that's the problem is people try to mind their business and people try to intervene to take the happiness. And for me, I don't let it happen. And I stay confident <clears throat> overall. Who are your biggest, like, role models? Where did you learn this idea of, like, be yourself, be confident, fuck everybody around me, you're not going to ruin my vibe? Where does that come from? I would say my mom, my friend, you know, I have some close people in my life. Uh, my mom specifically always taught me, listen, people are going to be the way they, they are. Just be yourself. That's going to get you through life regardless. And believe it or not, that's that's what I look at. When you want to tell somebody, like, be yourself, it's very vague. I feel like that's, like, a big statement. Everyone always gets that. But you're feeling down in the dumps. You're really unconfident. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you got a big thing. I don't know, a job, an interview, a stage performance. You're unconfident. What's one piece of advice you could give to somebody that needs that confidence to, like, be themselves again? Well, if you think about it, at the end of the day, the only people that's going to care about you the most is yourself. People are going to have an opinion, but at the end of the day, it's not going to make a difference because they're not going to do anything to change that. They don't care about your life. You care about your life. So who cares what they think? You know what your goal is. Just look at these guys like non-playable characters. It's as simple as that. I mean, that ass. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when I play games, they're not going to, they have no impact on what you do. Bots. So just try not to think about it because what the fuck is it going to change? If you think about it, it's going to make you angry. And believe me, I fall victim to that from time to time. But at the end of the day, you have to always still snap out of that shit because they're not going to enrich your life. Only you are going to care or, or really do care about your life. They don't care about your life. Just keep going. But don't you want people to care about your life? Don't you want the bots to know who you are and to, like, praise you and be obsessed with well, you? Well, I want them to, to, to be obsessed with me when I get to that point. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so them niggas can stay on the side for now. But when it gets down to it, you get what I'm saying? Then yeah. it'll be good at that point. But at the end of the day, to be honest, even though I'd like that, I don't care what they think. It just doesn't matter. What's that point look like to you? You're like, when I get to that point, what's that look like to you? It's when you're successful, right? You got the money that you think you should get. You're getting treated the way you, should, you, you think you should be treated. You have the stuff that you want to have. You can live comfortably. That's kind of that point. It's not necessarily being like rich, rich, but just when you get to a point of being okay. Are you there right now? Never. I mean, here's the thing. We're never going to, personally, we're not going to feel like we're ever there. We're going to have to keep pushing ourselves because you always want better. It's like celebrities. You have people like Allen Iverson. They have bare money. They go bankrupt because their standard of living is so high. So he's already loaded. He can live fine if he lived like us on a regular life, but he's trying to live out of his means, and he's always going to want more than where he's at. And I'm, I'm, everyone's the same way. I'm the same. When I get to that level, I feel like I'm going to feel like I want to be on the next level. And it always is going to be like that, unfortunately. It has been so far. I don't mean to, like, put you on the spot, but this podcast is all about asking tough questions. Oh. I'm here. I'm here. I hear what you say, and I resonate with you. Okay. But I'm also hearing con contradictions. Yeah. I'm hearing it's like you need to be confident in yourself and be yourself. Mm -hmm. But I don't want people to know who I am and to be around me until I get to that point. 
Oh no, no. I think it's mis- I think I was misconstrued. So obviously people can know it's not about that. It's about for yourself. Like for example, I'm gonna get a car and I'm gonna say, fuck, now I have a Nissan Sentra, I wanna get a better car. You're- but does that Nissan Sentra make you confident? No, it or- make no of course not. Okay. But a better life is not about just confidence. It. It's about living comfortably, right? If I have a nice car, then I'll say, Okay, now I have money or I wanna save up for this next car. That's what I mean. So it's not about not being confident. I don't have a car right now. I got rid of my car three years ago. Oh, me too. And it was, it was I got my drop by my insurance. And I'm not, I don't feel less confident because I don't own my car. I can't drive nowhere, I don't, I don't care. I take transit everywhere, I don't care, you know? It's a good way to look at life. That's what I mean, so I'm still confident. It has nothing to do with having stuff, but if I had stuff that I want, I have a nice camera, I do photography. Shout out. That's what I'm saying. Josh Perspectives, J-A-W-S-H-P-E-R. S-P-E-C-T-I-V-E-S. It's long. Please put it in your caption. I'll be honest. Shout out to Josh Perspectives. Thank you. On Instagram? Yes, on Instagram. Yeah. If, I, if I have a camera, I'm going to want a better camera. And that's what I mean is that you're always going to want something better. I'm not going to change my confidence, so not to be contradicted. It is, you know, it's the goal. I think it's interesting. You're always going to want something better, but you have the confidence in yourself to know that you're going to get it. I constantly strive for more because I know that I have the power within me to get it. So I'm going to be like, I want the next thing. I want the next thing. I'm not going to be complacent. Exactly. And that's that's exactly what I mean. Like, for example, if you see my Instagram, I post literally every single day, yeah. sometimes three or four times a day. Let's go. And I'm doing that because I know my stuff is fire. I'm not Bro. getting the followers I should get. And I feel like I'm shadow banned for some reason. I'm going to continue to do it. Because well, oh, okay, hold on. I'm going to stop you there. What makes you feel like you're shadow banned? I'm not getting views. I, I'll post. A, I do drone videos. I'll post and I'll get 100 views or 100 reach. It just doesn't make sense because, again, the consistency, the quality, it's all there. Are you confident that you're shadow banned? I'm pretty confident, yeah. No, I'm being that serious. Yeah, I had the same struggle on my social media journey. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's interesting that that's where your mind went because I just, I'm very, like, self-inflicting. Yeah, I'm okay. like, I'm not good enough. I didn't do it right. There's something yeah. I'm doing wrong. I think it's interesting that you, you went there because, th- I mean, that could be it. Maybe that's, the, maybe that's the, the truth. I fully think that's what it is. And, again, I don't care about likes, but the amount of work that I'm putting in, they say be consistent. I'm posting four times a day. And these are just, I'm, I'm up till 4 a.m. editing shots, very specific, because I'm so confident in what I do and I just love doing it. I'm constant. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it uh, consistently. It's quality. I'm doing videos. Why am I not getting the views? Again, it doesn't matter, but it pisses me off because you'll see some people that are literally taking blurry shots and shit that looks like garbage. I'm not going to lie. And they're getting praise for it. Where's the support for Josh, man? Exactly my point. you got to hit up KB. That's... <laughs> <laughs> She better be liking yeah, your shit. Yeah, yeah, dead ass. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. All right, so you're confident, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. do 10 push ups right now. Easy. I could do it with the foot up too. Hey, I'm good. Yeah? Hold up. That's my thing. He doesn't stop. That's confidence. How many was that? 20. 20. Josh, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate it, man. It was fun. Oh, shit. Josh is so confident. How come one is still just a friend? Oh. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Have a, have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. I got a girl. That's a good question. Cameraman asks. <laughs> no, I already got a girl. I got a girl. So why not another one? I don't do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you didn't have a girl, though, would you be hitting on KB? No. Why not? Close friend. So? I don't do that. Wouldn't you want a close friend of yours to be your partner in life? No. Not necessarily. (laughs) Okay. I'm different than most people. All right. I want to hear this. This is interesting. I truly believe guys and girls can be friends. I don't know any guy. Like, I know some that have pushed the boundaries. But me and my friends don't believe in that. They're your good friends. You don't want to lose them at the end of the day. You feel me? And that's what I'm talking about is that... What's the point if you have a good friendship? Yeah, especially if someone's going to be, like, talking to you on the phone while you're out and you're, like, actually confiding in them. It's nice to have a real friend instead of just, like... Exactly my point. And that's the thing is that some people should stay as friends. We don't think about it any other way than that, but 
I get that sometimes it could be like that. It's never been like that with me and my friends. I actually resonate with what you're saying. I personally put on a persona and ask these hard questions to pull that out of people. Yeah, but it's good that you feel that way. Because yeah, okay. there are guys out there that will be like, nah, like I want the next one, and I want the next one, I want the next one. You're right, why shouldn't I do that? So it's fun to get it out of there. Most definitely, and I'm not one of those guys. Again, shout out to KB, being there for me since day one. We do photography together, nice. you know what I mean? So. We're learning from each other, and it's just it's dope, you know? Close we better see you in the comments, KB. I'm watching for you. Hey, Thanks, dope. Man. I hey, appreciate your time. Hey, thank you, all right? Have a good night. Hey, thank you. <laughs> what, you got, you got a card? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram if you want. Let me do that. Yeah, have a seat. What's your name? Giddy. Giddy? Yes. It's spelled in English, G-I-D-E-Y, and it's pronounced Giddy. Giddy. Nice to meet you, Giddy. What's your name from? Where is it from? It is from Ethiopia. Giddy, would you consider yourself a confident person? Yes. Where does your confidence come from? Myself. From yourself. I think that you are an accumulation of many things. Uh, the life uh, that I have, which is this one, is uh, myself. That makes sense. What in your life gave you confidence? Was it your parents? Was it some sort of situation that you went through? No, self-experience, yes. The, the a situation I went through, uh, which was the experience. But my self-experience, experience myself from the day I was born, I was born on Real Talk Promise on May 30, May, the month May, M-A-Y, is how you spell it in English, and uh, the date, month number five as well, and the date, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, What are we counting for? 8, 29, 30, for my birthday. So May 30, the year 1978. Yeah, so you were born 1970 in the... The year 1978. Okay, so you... On the 30th of May. So you were born on the 30th of May, 1978. Well, the, the year 1978. So now I am 45 years old today. On May of this month, this month is October. Before October, it was September. Before September... It was totally. I just have one question for you, Giddy. What life experience did you have that gave you confidence? School. Going to school as well. Where did you go to school? I am from Ethiopia. Before I came to Canada, uh, I went to Sudan, a neighbor of my country, Ethiopia. So from Sudan, I came here. I was born in Sudan as well. I went to school in Sudan from grade 1 to grade 8. In high school, I went went uh, here. I started high school here from grade 9, grade nine up until grade 13. I did not complete uh, uh, Grade, grade, grade 9 to grade 13. What happened is I started in grade 9 and when I was in, in grade 12, I left school for seven years, high school. Then I went to adult learning school. What made you leave school? Being foolish. I, I had started to sell marijuana at that time. So because of that, that I do not need uh, school that much. Were you successful sir, selling marijuana? I was. I was. I then I went from selling marijuana, I went off to sell, to sell crack. I sold that for over 10, for over 13 years, 13 and a half years. After that, I started to smoke it on November 24, 2009. And today it is October, sorry, Friday, October 21, 2022. My birthday is... On May. May 30th, 1978. Uh, I remember. Thank you, sir. I'm listening. I want to know what got you into selling crack. You said you sold crack for... I, I wanted to make money. Did you make good money doing that? I did. I did, I promise you. 13 and a half years, I did. I bought a car. I bought clothes for myself. I bought jewelry. I met a, a, a girl. Well, Giddy, I'm learning that you're all about money. I met her when she was age 15. I was age 26 at the time. No, age 24. We were together for... From uh, that time, she was age 15 until she was age 19. At, at that time, I became age 26, and we had a son. His name is Zakaria. He was born on January. Real talk, Rams? Seriously, seriously. Real talk. Uh, on January 30, 2006. On that day, we broke up. Wow. Well, I appreciate your time today, Giddy. Thank you no, so much. Not on that day. Yeah, seriously, on that day. No, we came home from that. No, on that day, the other day he was born. That's perfect. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Shout out to Giddy. What's up, man? Okay. Good. What up? What's your name? I'm Dre Dre. Dre Dre. Do you think that you're a confident man? Very. You're a very confident man. I think so, too. The way you walked up here, you had a seat, you're like, yeah, this is my life. I love that. Where does that confidence come from? Growing up as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was shy, but then I realized, like, shy don't get me nowhere. 
yeah, I don't open up opportunities. You gotta be confident. You gotta like go for what you want. When you say like shy, don't get you nowhere. What do you mean by that? You will, you don't take chances when you're shy. You have to be confident. You gotta try. When you fail, you try again. Was there a big lesson in your life that switched you from being shy to someone who's now more confident? My crush. Your crush. Yes. I was too shy to go up to her, and then I lost it. Don't say I'm like. It's the one that got away. Yes. What's her name? I wish not to say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got the confidence now. Who, what's her name? Man, I wish not to say. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that discreet. All right. I just wanted to get that out of you. You know, maybe it relieve some of that <laughs> yeah. pain. I'm grown. I'm kind of over it now. And I'm saying it just it's it helps me, but it helps me to to step up and be more manly. Amazing. I think it's really good for you to take that opportunity and be like, this is gonna make me a better person. You, you saw value in it, and now you're stronger. If there's somebody out there that needs to be confident tomorrow for something, whether it's a big job or a date or or whatever it is, what's one piece of advice you can give them, something that helped you personally? Hey, listen, you miss every shot that you don't take, you know what I'm saying? So just try. It's it's not it's not the end of the world if you fail. Failure means you try. And it's not how many times you fail, it's how many times you try or get up and go again. So always try, always go again. You will make it one day. Everybody have their turn. So you just got to do it until your turn comes. <laughs> I love that, man. What do you do? CNC Press Radio Operator. Amazing. I have a podcast too, so. Hey, what's your podcast name? No Cap, No Shade. It's on Apple Podcasts. It's on Spotify. It's a visual on Spotify. Google Podcasts. And it's on Anchor. Shout out to No Cap, No Shade. I would love to get on it sometime. Hey, listen, we can make it happen. <laughs> we can make it happen. Hell yeah, man. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I won't take more time out of your, out of your day. You, Thank you for that, like, tidbit. Dude, you're awesome. Thank you. Dre Dre. Have a good night, man. What, what's the name of this? This is the Six Feet Apart Podcast. We're growing. Yo, bro, all the best, bro. Best wish you. Hey, I raised my face. Would you like to have a seat next? Come on. We need to hear the perspective of women. I tried. I tried. Confidence. Confidence. Right now it's very low. Socially a good person. Have a seat. Sure. What is the name of your channel? It's the Six Feet Apart Podcast. What's your name? Hootkarsh. Harsh or Karsh? Hootkarsh. Hootkarsh. Yeah. Okay, Hootkarsh. Are you a confident person? Not really. Why? Like in certain situations I am, but not in every situation. Would you say that you're more confident, like more times than not, or are you less confident more times than not? More times. It really depends on the situation. Like when I'm working, I'm confident in my work, but if it's a social situation, I'm not really that confident. What do you do for work? I'm a cook, a chef. Okay, so you're confident when you're in the kitchen, you're making your food, you're like, I know what I'm doing, yeah. but maybe you get a new hire and it's a cute girl and you're like, oh, you know, we're not having a conversation, I'm focusing on my work. Kind of, but it, I don't really give it away. Like, it, it doesn't seem like I'm, like, if I spend a lot of time with a certain person, they might find out, but in the first meeting, I might just stay to myself. So you're like kind of stoic, you don't show it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It depends on the what other person is thinking. What makes you more confident and what makes you less confident? Because you're confident in your work. Is that because you've been doing it for a long time? Or are you, is it just like, I know what I'm doing when I'm cooking? Yeah, it's just the experience that I've gotten, the remarks that I've gotten from people. The social awkwardness, that's, that comes from the growing up part and then people that, like not really like into bullying and all that. To avoid that, I just kept to myself and, so, and slowly I just started staying away from people. Are you saying that you were bullied? Yeah. Shit, what do what people do to you? It was like abusive, kind of, in school. This is old now. I don't really care about it now. Well, I mean, you say that you don't care about it, but think about what it did to you, yeah, right? That happened like slowly. It, it wasn't like a month thing. This took place like seven, eight years ago, and slowly, it's what I think that I made a coping mechanism for it, for it, just to stay away from people. The people who I seem like is not uh, a good person or something, I just try to stay away from them. That makes sense. Do you think I'm a good person? Your vibe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. What gave you the confidence to sit down and have a conversation today? I'm new to Canada for like two months. I've been here. I, I'm always now. I'm trying to be open to everything that I can. Whenever I get an invitation, I'm trying to go there. I'm just trying to be a different person here. I love that. Welcome. I hope that this gives you the confidence to continue to do that because I think that's a good way to live life. Yeah, this is helping right now. <laughs> Look at that smile. Look at that laugh. This guy's awesome. One more question for you. Out of your own personal experience and understanding, if somebody has to do something crazy tomorrow, like I have a big interview, I got a big date, I got something, and I'm feeling 
really unconfident. I look in the mirror, I hate myself. What's something that I can do to bring that confidence out of me? If you're going to a job that you are well known, like you, you've been doing that, I should say that focus on your experience, what you have done, and stay true to that. And if it's something that you need to do, like a job that you're getting to get your money, you just have to make your mindset that it's not really a single answer for it. It's a very difficult and complex situation for you. Well, I'm actually more interested to know if there's like some specific thing that you do for yourself that helps you feel more you, makes you feel more confident, gets you out of bed. You're like, you know, I don't want to do this, but maybe if I take a shower, I'm going to yeah, feel... Music helps me with that. Like, uh, I try to listen to the music that's more upbeat at that point. That gets me out of bed. And if it's not a very physical thing that I like, that like kitchen I usually smoke weed <laughs> well I appreciate that what are you listening to right now the JID's new album I have been going crazy for that right hell yeah shout out to JID's new album man yeah thank you so much for your time dude I appreciate it have a good night, have a good night. welcome to Canada thank you What's the name of six feet apart? this is the six feet apart podcast yeah I think I have heard of it but I'm not sure though you might have <laughs> you too thank you would you ladies like to have a seat on my podcast? What's the podcast about? Confidence. What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. Come have a seat. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, come, come, come. I'm on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 hello. I love that so much. What's, up, what's, up, what's, up? what's your name? Anthony. What's up? It's on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, what's his channel? Six Feet Apart. Why? Because I think in I think we're getting more and more separated, okay. and in life to have a real conversation, you can't actually be six feet apart from somebody. What is this, some Steven Crowder shit? What are we arguing about? We're not arguing about anything. I want to learn what oh, made you. <laughs> it's a conversation. Why does everything got to be an argument? Uh, it doesn't. Great. So, what gave you the confidence in yourself to have a seat right now? You were literally on the you phone. Know, You're my like, boy had like 19 drinks. What do you mean? <laughs> so you got some liquid courage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Do you, would you consider yo, yourself? Is that a Leica? Would you consider yourself a confident person? Uh, uh, yo, Ben. Would I? Would you consider me a confident person? You're an only child. Yeah, I'm an only child. Yeah. Well, I mean, you just asked your friend if he thinks that no, you're he's confident. My he's my boy, though. He's like one of my best friends. But you had to ask somebody he's if you're not, confident. Okay. So what everyone says about him is he's our asshole. So like, you know, how everyone has an asshole friend. I'm that guy. You're like everyone hates them, but you, he's our asshole. I'm that the best friend, but like our best friend. That's Aiden. He's a he's a real G. He's a real Shout G. out to Aiden. Yeah, he's a real G. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Okay, with the with the confidence. Um, Would you consider yourself a confident person? Yeah, of course. Where does that come from? I'm an only child. I Ben, why would you consider me confident? It's mostly because you're an only child. Yeah, mostly because I'm an only child. Okay. <laughs> so would you say that like this you you had supportive parents? parents? Yeah, they're both blind, but I love them to death. Like, yeah. literally blind? Okay, now he's like, oh, fuck, eh? <laughs> so your parents are actually blind? Yeah, yeah, they're both legally blind, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. What's it like to live with blind parents? Uh, uh, pretty weird. The house gets pretty messy. I feel like you could lie to them about a lot of stuff. No, my dad is a fucking shark. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what'd you get on your report card? And, you, and you're looking at it. blind? He's fucking... Way too fucking... But I, just, uh, I don't mean any disrespect, by the way. Yeah. I'm just going off the information that I was given. Okay. When you were growing up, if you had, like, a report card, did you of get course. good grades? Of course I got good grades, yeah. Oh, okay. But what if you got something bad or you had to hide something? Was that easier or, like, he could just smell it out of you? No, no, no. He's a fucking shark. He knows when you're lying. That's really interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Right. You're, you're called the Six Feet Apart Podcast. How many followers you got? How many followers? We got 12K views on our first Yo, episode. Yo, eh? <laughs> What do you do? I'm a security consultant. Okay, okay. I make sure people don't get hacked. How scary is that, eh? So you help businesses with their confidence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Do you believe in what you do? Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. What's, the, what's, your, what's your name? Stevan. Stevan what? Petrosic. You Serbian? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slovenian. Slovenian. Yeah, That's Slovensky. We're yeah, brothers. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was hanging, I was chilling with um, some Albanians tonight. Yeah. Those guys are <sighs> fucked, eh? Was your, um, was your mom in Yugoslavia for, uh, with the fall? So my mom's actually Polish. My dad is Serbian. Okay. Okay, Maddie. Yo, Maddie. And there he goes. Shout out to Anthony. Would you like to have a seat? Back to back. This is the momentum we needed. Hi there. What's your name? Viraj. Or uh, it's actually pronounced as Vraj. Vraj. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, is you got good? it. Okay. Yeah. My name's Stevan. Nice to meet you. Would you consider yourself a confident person? 
Uh, first of all, hi mom, I'm on YouTube. So <laughs> shout out to <laughs> Rich's mom. Yeah, and also a shout out to Bhavya Bhumi. Who's that? Uh, my siblings. They are back in India, where I came from, and uh, awesome. We talk a lot, and uh, I always wanted to start a YouTube channel actually, because uh, I've always been interested in making videos. What got you into that? Films, movies. That's actually uh, actually I'm a, a big cinema lover, and uh, watching movies for like um, since many times. Would you consider yourself a confident person? Yes. Because uh, I'm that type of guy who come to you and just say hi, I'm Ras Devganya. So yeah, if that's con considered as confidence, then yes, I am. Where do you think that confidence comes from within you? I think it's more of a how you grow up. Like if you're maybe your father or mom, like if they're very conservative, they like to keep things to themselves. Then you might grow up as a maybe an introverted person. You keep trying to push yourself to bring your true self out to the world. So that's what brings true confidence to me. I want like a, an example that helped wow. you grow confidently. Wow. So I would like to mention my father here. Shout out to your dad. Shout out yeah. to my dad. <laughs> so I think uh, that's where uh, everything came from. He he is type of guy who would say hi. I am dad. It really inspired me of how to really connect with people. I find that a lot of people these days they're losing confidence in themselves. They're losing confidence in being social. They're losing confidence in even going outside. What's one piece of advice you can give to someone who's not feeling confident today but needs to be confident tomorrow? Just keep your phone aside for a little bit, and just keep, just lift your head up and watch the world. What's really going on? You know, stop comparing yourselves to others. Those who provide their fake life in front of this world. And uh, you get really demotivated by that. Like, hey, he is living in that Juhu beach, or maybe he is living in that bungalow. That doesn't really matter. Everyone has their own race, and they just gotta run for it, I guess. That's amazing, man. I really appreciate your perspective. Thank you for stopping by. No worries. Where can I've, we find your uh, up, up and coming YouTube or Instagram? You can follow me on my Instagram, which is uh, Vraj Devganya. And uh, yeah, I can. I'm just gonna upload my new project, which is coming soon. Perfect. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. Have a good night. You're confident. Yeah. Okay. I don't well, know. <laughs> She's confident. Don't ask me any questions. What's your name? Mabu. Nice to meet you, Mabu. My name is Stevan. You're on the Six Feet Apart podcast. We're on Six Feet Apart. That's the whole point. I think the world is slowly growing more and more apart. And the way that we can come together is to have conversations. But you cannot have a conversation with somebody when they're six feet apart from you. I agree with you. And I also, this is kind of probably controversial, but I think COVID is man-made. And that's the whole point, that people like just distance themselves from each other and they don't talk about like deep shit. Well, we're here to talk about some deep shit. Okay, I'm so I appreciate you sitting down. Okay. You said that you're confident. What makes you confident? Just life experiences teach you a lot and then you learn from it, you grow and then whatever you thought you were not confident in the next time you try it out, you realize you're confident in it. Sounds like if you just do stuff, you'll realize that you can do stuff and then you can do more stuff. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> okay, let's do stuff. I want to know, is there something inside or s some sort of experience that you have that grew you specifically into like super confident you? Super confident Mabu. Uh, I don't know if I can say I'm super confident yet. I, obviously, there's no like limit. There's a long way to go, but I think coming here alone from Pakistan studying, working, trying to stand on my own feet gave me a lot of confidence. That's amazing that you came here on your own to do that. What pushed you, what drives you, what gave you the confidence to leave your own home country and to come to Canada? See, to pursue my education, okay. that's one reason, but I also just wanted to feel independent because back home, like you have your parents, you have your siblings, you just don't have much independence. You can't really grow much from like your sheltered environment. So over here, you're living alone, paying rent, paying expenses, trying to figure out if your groceries like are adding up to your budget or something. I wanted to feel that kind of independence and that like freedom. And then when you got it, did it help you or did it bring you down? I think it really helped me. And it's made me more mindful of like a lot of stuff that I do. It's made me give myself more time just one day or even just one hour to do something for my own self. Yeah, I really think coming here has made me like not give a shit about a lot of stuff. Like I don't care if I'm sitting in bed on a Saturday night and everyone is at the club because like that's just me. Like Yeah, because you're going to do what you want to do. Out loud, yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad that you were able to say that out loud and be confident about it. Is it a unique situation for a woman to leave Pakistan and come here on her own and to make her life for herself? So it really depends on like the kind of opportunity you've been given, what background you come from, but commonly, no, it's not. A lot of women don't do this. They're not allowed to do it and it's not common in like the entire country that you just get up and 
just leave. But I'm really grateful that I have this opportunity. I'm ignorant to the whole situation. Well, or at least I'm unaware. I'm uneducated. And we're having a real conversation, and I'd like to get to know you. What was the process for you to leave and to come here? Were your parents supportive? Was it really, really tough? Or, you know, what are some of the troubles and tribulations that you got, you went through? I mean, I wouldn't say I had to, like, struggle a lot because uh, I'm really glad to have really supportive parents who push you, encourage you. It was pretty easy for me. Like, I just had to apply for a visa, apply at a university, but I did that all on my own. Like, I didn't seek any external help, a counselor, nothing. I, I had to push my own self. And since I'm the youngest kid, like, you know, like, I, don't, I have to, like, meet any expectations and stuff. It's hard for people back home like finances are a big problem and I would say for me as well like now I'm just like thinking all the time do I really need this or do I want it that's basically how I like determine my purchases now do I need it or do I want it last question I want to ask you I find that a lot of people are growing more and more and more less confident they're like losing their confidence they 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 lose confidence to have conversation they even lose confidence to go outside what's one piece of advice that you can give someone to be who's less confident today but will help them be more confident tomorrow. Okay, well, I was like that as well. I wouldn't go out. This was like, what, last year? I wouldn't go out. I just, you know, I wouldn't even want to, like, talk to people. I wouldn't ever do this. Okay, so... And now you're sitting here. <laughs> Shout out to Mabu. I don't know, like, what proper advice to give because, I mean, all advice doesn't work on everyone. But for me, like, I really had to learn to love myself and, and just, like, accept that, like, I am me and, like, there's no other Mabu in the world. So, like... <laughs> That's it, yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, Mabu. It was a pleasure having you on the podcast. Thank you. Thank you for sitting down. No have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Shout out to Mabu. Lady with the rose, would you like to have a seat, madame? I love the rose. What's your name? Alabella. Alabella. Yep. That's a beautiful name. Ala, my name. Bella in Italy, that means beautiful. Oh, so you're calling yourself beautiful within your name? Yes, not me. I'm ECE teacher in public school, Chris Hadfield Public School, and room supervisor too. I support all women. I get abused from my ex, but I kick his ass out of my life. That is amazing. I'm yeah. really proud of you. I came from the mental hospital because they thought I can take a medicine, but for me, no. I have a clean body. I took ashwagandha. Just be healthy. That's it. Stand for stand for yourself. Don't say no. Would you consider yourself a confident person? Yep. <laughs> okay. Where does that confidence come from? From my heart. From my beliefs. Don't tell me it's something about religion or anything. Skip all of that. What you believe and what you give, what you receive. If you give someone a smile, you will have a smile back. I talk to my kids. Both of them, I love them so much. Isa, I love you. Adam, I love you. Leo, my cat, I love him too. Shout out to Leo the cat. <sighs> it's a Persian cat, six years old. My ex stole all of this from me, but you know what? I will fight to the end because this is my life. If I didn't fight, I didn't deserve these nice kids or they didn't deserve mommy like me. I'm super mama. I'm happy mama, not perfect mama. I see that in you. Where does your confidence come from? My beliefs, my hearts. But like, what are those beliefs? What are those things? What are some prime examples? Think positively, okay. be positive, do whatever you want. Okay, but like, if I look in the mirror, right, and I see myself, and I'm like, man, this guy, he. I'm so he, happy. I'm super. I'm proud of myself. But that's not what I hear. How do I change those voices? If I look in the mirror and I'm like, that guy's ugly. He doesn't deserve anything. Don't. You can't say who deserves or who's not. Believe and move on. Life is moving on. Interesting. So life is all about growth and moving on yes. and accepting the situation that you're... Yes. Even if you're dumb, if listen, if you didn't feel the pain, you will not achieve your success. I hear everything that you're saying, but I find that in today's day and age, people are growing less and less confident. They're... Electronics. Quit electronics. Go with the nature. Be, be fair. Nothing. Just, you know what? I came here. With no, nothing with me. Where is my cell phone? I don't have any cell phones in my hands. Nothing. Trust me. Before our families see your grandma, grandpa, they used to do many things. Don't be staying doing nothing. Just lay your on the couch. Be potato couch. Just eat, eat, eat. Judge everyone. No. Move on. Move. Show me what you did. No. You, I can say I love you. I can say it. But when I do that, Give you some flowers. Say hi. How are you? you? Are you in need? You need help? This is work more. It has a feeling. Nothing. 
Only feeling, love, care, happiness. That's it. Trust me. Allah, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for stopping by tonight, and we hope to see you again sometime. With my kids next time. See ya. <laughs> Thank you. That was incredible. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow, that was a good one. Should we do one more girl, or that's it? Would you like to be on the podcast? Come on. You want to end the night? End the night for us. It's the last one. Last one. Last one, guys. Let's do it. Anthony. No, she knows all the I'm, 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 I'm out of here. <laughs> Why, are you? Why are you afraid? Fucking There's nothing to be afraid of. Are we rolling? Let's go. Hi. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica, nice to meet you. My name's Stevon. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Six Feet Apart podcast. Thank you. Today we're talking about confidence. Okay. Would you consider yourself a confident person? Very. Very? That's interesting. You just said that you were afraid to have a seat. But I'm sitting here, right? <laughs> that, I stepped up. I stepped up. I got to give it to you. Okay. What made you hesitant to have a seat? I don't love being on film or on camera. Okay. I'm, I have a lot of confidence when I'm live with people, right, and going into situations, but I don't always want to be filmed or documented. The difference between having a camera on and off. What is it there that changes that perspective for you? Probably because I don't want to see it. That's probably it. If I'm live with my friends and we're just having a good time, but if it's if I all of a sudden see it, then I would pick it apart. So if you have the opportunity to watch yourself do something, yes. that's where you're going to start losing confidence. Probably, yeah, because then I would probably pick it apart. Whereas I'm a very much a live in the present, live in the moment, and I don't think too much about afterwards. I just kind of go for it. Whereas if I had to watch it, I'd be like, oh, right? That's probably why. So this why is very would, nerve wracking for me. Why would you be like, oh, and I, not, I yes, know. that's awesome. Maybe I'm amazing. I would. Maybe I would. I'll tune in and I'll see. If it's cringeworthy and I'll be like, oh my God. But I just turned 50. Oh, wow. Well. Congratulations. Yeah, a couple of days ago. Yeah. 50 I'm, years I'm young. 50. Woo! Yeah. Woo! I wouldn't have said a day over 28. It doesn't matter. That, with age comes confidence as well. I want to know where your confidence comes from other than the age. Probably my family. For sure, my upbringing, 100%, my accomplishments, what you accomplish in life. My friends who are here, they came all the way from Montreal to celebrate my birthday. Shout out to Jessica's friends and Montreal. Shout out, Nikki and Christina. <laughs> yeah. What was it about your upbringing that gave you confidence? Like, is there something your parents did specifically or a situation that happened that kind of, you were like, oh, I can do things. I'm amazing. I think just uh, for my parents, it was unconditional love. I, I do think that it was a very loving and um, supportive family. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Okay. Um, as Everything's as, fine. As far as accomplishments, I've always been sort of a yes person, and you push through it. You just go. Even if you're afraid or you're scared, you just do it. You know, yeah, it might not always work out exactly the way you wanted, but from my perspective, experience, good or bad, is worthy in itself. I really like that perspective. Mm -hmm. If someone was really unconfident today but needed to be confident tomorrow because they had some sort of job interview or a date or something, what's one piece of advice that you can give them so that they can get that confidence back? Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. Life's short, you know. It's You just have to, this is going to sound so cliche, but life is short. No day is promised. You just have to go for it. What's the worst thing that can happen? Right. Well, people nowadays, I find, are actually growing more and more unconfident. You know, people are afraid to apply for jobs or have conversations or let alone even leave their home. It's easy to say, and it's super cliche, trust me, I believe with, I believe you. I'm on the yeah, same page. Yeah, but yeah. I just want to help people outside of our conversation maybe <laughs> find something. What It could be anything, any example that you do. Maybe it's like you, t you give yourself a bath or you tell yourself something. You have some sort of affirmations. Is there anything that you do specifically that gives you confidence within yourself when you're feeling low? I just have to go back on experience. It's never that bad, right? Like even when you fail and something doesn't work out, it's, it's never as bad as you think it's going to be. Right? You can build something up in your mind that something's going to go ca catastrophize something and it's, it's very rarely ever that bad. I don't know how to give people confidence, right? Like you have to sort of find your way, you know, on your own. Jessica, I really appreciate your time. Thank you Thank so much. You. Where can people find you if you want to be found? I don't know, God. Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Fox. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it was great. I just never want to see it. <laughs> Six feet apart on YouTube. It's going to pop up on your feet, right? Is that it? Is that a wrap? That's a wrap on day two. Guys, the Six Feet Apart podcast.
be cut up on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all those great places where you can find some tidbits. If you want to find the full-length episode or the semi-full-length episode, that'll be on YouTube. And then if you want the fully uncut, unedited version, that'll be on Patreon. We hope to see you there. Thanks again. Peace. Roses are red and these violets are blue I know I messed up but I can't stop thinking of you Thinking of you Fucked up, hoping I'll be young. Oh, now we're getting more people Who wants to have a seat? I would love to get the lady on the on the seat first. Are you gonna have a seat? Come on, it's just a conversation. That's it. And I only bite a little bit. Oh god, we got you. Just like wine, is it okay? Like I've had wine. That's okay. You, you can have like four if you need. Okay, I've only, I've only had three. So. Okay, nice. You, the fourth we can share. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? Kristen. Kristen. Yeah. Would you consider yourself a confident person? Yes. Okay. Where does that confidence come from, you think? Um, I don't know. I just think that I wake up every day and choose to be confident because, like, what other choice do you have? To hate yourself and not be confident? Yeah, no, and that's not really an option. <laughs> that's not really an option. Just, like, fake it till you make it. Is there something that you do specifically, maybe some sort of routine or whatever? Like if you're feeling down, you know, you wake up one day, everyone does it. And maybe you've never felt this way and I would be super jealous. But I know personally that there are some days where I'm like, oh my God, I just can't do it. What's something that you would do or a piece of advice that you would give to someone that needs to be confident tomorrow? What's something they could do? Uh, just go work out and then wake up tomorrow with a different mindset and... I don't know. Sometimes when a day is just a write-off, it's just a write-off, and you just have to own it and then change your mindset. And the next day, wake up and say, today's going to be a better day. Wake up, get it, do a workout, yeah. do a sprint, and be like, you know what, I can, I can do anything. Maybe not a sprint. <laughs> like, maybe like a brisk walk. <laughs> just a little speed walk. Is there anything in your life that kind of solidified that confidence in you? Was there any point in time where you were like not a confident person? Well, I packed up my life and moved across the country when I was 19. Wow. So I left everything behind and just packed up, moved out of a small town and yeah, moved 5,000 kilometers away from all my friends and family and started over. So I didn't really have a choice but to be confident and to like rebuild and regain who I was. What pushed you to do that? change I don't know I just didn't want to live in a small town I wanted to chase my dreams um, I'm a hairstylist so I wanted to own my own business and I couldn't do that I guess I could have done it in my hometown but I just wanted to like reinvent myself and be who I wanted to be and not have like the stigma of like who I was in high school or do you have that business running right now I do what is it um, I want to give it a shout out so my Instagram is at hair by K rush Shout out to Hair by K Rush. Yeah. Do you think that people are growing less confident by the day? I think that people are growing more confident by the day because mental health is becoming less of a stigma and more people are talking about it. So I think the more people that talk about it, the more people will gain confidence and being who they are. Interesting. Because I've been finding the perspective that more and more people are actually becoming less confident. Like people aren't applying for jobs, they're not having conversations, they're let alone not even going outside anymore. Yeah. What observations are you making that make you think that people are on the, on the other side, on the flip side? Because I would like to be on your side. I want your perspective. You want my perspective? Um, I think that COVID was really hard and that people are just kind of over it from like what I see in the city that I live in. I'm a hairstylist, so I see a lot of people stopping, feeling sorry for themselves, and they're starting to just like get out and do what they want. I think that um, small businesses are blowing up and the people that can't get a job are just like deciding to do something that they want to do or they've always dreamed about. And people are getting the confidence to do that. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. That wasn't so bad, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Have yourself a wonderful night. I really appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. You too. Bye. It was nice meeting you. You too. Yeah. What's your name, man? Uh, Evan. Evan. Do you think you're a confident person? I'd say so, yeah. I'm working on it. Working on it. 
Do 10 push-ups right now. In front of everyone? Right here? Yeah, right now. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Yeah, let's go. 10 push-ups. Push right. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's got the claps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had, to, I had to test your confidence. Where do you think that your confidence comes from? I'm huge on self improvement, working out, getting my body in shape, and just like just working on myself. You know, just investing in myself. I used to be super unconfident before, back in like high school and stuff. I couldn't even walk into a store and buy things properly without shaking. And just like I just had to have a talk with myself and be like, hey, like, you know, like, you can't just be like that. You know, you gotta like start living life. Was there a moment in your life that triggered that in you, where you were like, okay, this is enough. I cannot go to grocery stores and be shaking. I need to like live my life. What was that moment for you? Yeah, that was exactly it. Like I had that talk with myself. I'm like, hey, look, you only live once. You can't just keep doing the same shit. Like you can't just be stuck in that same zone. You gotta like snap out of it. Snap out of it. It wasn't easy, but like just like constantly doing it and doing it, and also like just watching others that had that same situation as me, and then watching them snap out of it. That motivated me too. So and, and here I am. So, so yeah. What's one piece of advice that you could give to somebody that's like not confident today and needs to be confident tomorrow? The first thing I would say, I know this sounds super cliche, but you only live once. You only have one life to live. And don't focus on the bullshit, you know, just like don't care what other people think. Care about like just focus on your goals and like whatever you want to do and go and do it. And once you really think that way, I think that really snaps you out of it because then you start taking things more seriously. And that's what happened to me. I realized, like, hey, look, I can't just stop wasting my life. Like, I can't just keep wasting my life. So that's, I think that's one of the biggest motivators because you have a short window of time. Time is short, you know? Like, life is too short. So that's the biggest thing. Is there, like, an example of something that you do in your life that gives you that back? Like, if, you're, if you ate, like, two McDonald's meals, you know, 2 a.m., you're feeling down in the dumps, is there something that you could do personally that kind of gives you that confidence back? Yeah, just reminding myself of my goals, you know? I'm just, uh, I'm very goals, like, oriented, like, uh... Do you write it down on, like, a pad or something? Yes. I, I have it on my phone. I have it written down in my, like, personal journal. A buddy of mine told me about this, too. Like, he writes everything down, and he's been accomplishing his goals, like, nonstop. And just watching him is also motivating for me. So I started following his approach. What's your friend's name? Regan. Shout out to Regan. Write shit down. Yeah. Regan, shout out to you, buddy. If you're watching this... <laughs> Thank you so much. You've helped me so, so much in these last two years that I've known you. Looking forward to more years with you, buddy. Wow, that's awesome. You said that you were, you're working out a lot, right? You're, you're big on self-improvement. That's what gives you confidence. Would you flash some of the guns or the, some abs or something? What do you got, what do you got packing? Uh, let me see. What am I? Oh, what am I? shit. All right, hold up. Uh, I have a feeling this guy's ripped. <laughs> Take it off. Take it off. Take it Winter, off. Man, it's, freezing out here. it's not cold. I'll take it off, too. <laughs> we live in Canada. You got to get over it real quick. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Look at that guy. Evan, thank you so much for being on the podcast, yeah, man. No worries, brother. Anytime. I really appreciate it. What's your name, brother? Stevon. Stevon, nice to meet you, bro. It was a wonderful meeting. Yeah, you now it's a wrap. Boom. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the full uncut versions of all of the episodes, you can always check them out on Patreon at Six Feet Apart Podcast. I hate it here.